Hi and welcome to another tutorial from Homes. Today we're looking at masking text non-destructively in Geometry Nodes Blender. So we're not going to delete the cube this time, but we are going to change the viewport. So let's press zero on the num, let's press seven on the numpad, and then once we press seven on the numpad, we're going to hit Control Alt and zero. Then we're going to with the cube selected, navigate to the modifiers tab. We're going to add a modifier. We're going to add Geometry Nodes. Let's go ahead and just, um, increase the size of this window below and let's change it from the timeline to the geometry node editor. Cool. Then we're going to hit new here and we see that we have the input and the output. Now we're not going to need this input geometry, but we do need something to attach the geometry nodes to right for now. So let's just go ahead and hit control and space bar to big this up so we can see um, all of the nodes easier. Cool. So let's go ahead and add some nodes here. We're going to add a string. Cool. And let's go ahead and add a string to curves. String to curves. Good. I'm just going to drop it on this white line here. Let me see. And that's going to decouple the group input. Let's delete that. And let's go ahead and add the string into the string input here so that we can type our text in an easy node window. Let's go ahead and add a fill curve. Cool. And we're going to add a realize instances. And the realize instances is necessary because the string to curves outputs curves to instances. But for the next node, the next node doesn't um, input in doesn't register in instances. So we have to connect them together again. So why this separates them into instances, the realize instances um, puts them together into one mesh all right, or into one curve group rather. And then we have the fill curve that changes it to a mesh. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the object that's going to do the masking. So we're going to add a cube. All right, cool. Let's bring this up here and we're going to add the magic mesh boolean which does the mask operation cool so this is just like the boolean modifier that we know and love but in geometry nodes fantastic let's go ahead and add it about here cool we're going to change it to intersect and we're just going to go ahead and connect the mesh to it as well and last but not least we're going to add a material so we're going to hit set material Cool. And let's just input a material here that we have default and this should be our node setup. Let's go ahead and type some text as well. Non destructive. Cool. Um, I think it's destructive. Yeah, non destructive and whoopsie. Let's go ahead and hit control and space bar and we can see that something is happening here. Let's go ahead and change some of the parameters for our cube so we can more readily see what's going on. It looks like it's being cut on the wax. Let's lift up the Y. This looks more like an N. So let's move the X axis. Let's move the X size, sorry. And we can see that the non destructive is indeed showing. We'll go ahead and center this by just moving it. And we have text that's being masked out. And it is non-destructive, meaning that we can change the type if we want to. We don't have to use this text here. We can type something else. You know, something else. And we can see here that we've typed something else and we still have the mask operation available to us. Awesome. So this is non-destructive and this was a problem for Blender for a long time but in geometry nodes it is possible so you can create all sorts of blender presets with typography in motion graphics now or uh, many other presets for other designs using this tool we can also using this method we can also go ahead and mask on the y-axis we don't have to mask on the z on the x if we don't want to right. let's just see this i can go ahead and showcase that yeah so see, we can mask on the Y axis as well. And um, there's quite a lot of options available for us, right? 
and if you this is only doing it for the size though so if we want to do it for say the position we just had a set position node and um, we can move it with position instead of say the size cool and then gives us all of our options just the same so this is how we create a non-destructive text mask in Blender Geometry Notes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. Um, I'll be happy to answer them once I can. And I look forward to your comments. So, until I see you again with another tutorial, get up and design a new door. Later.